requires a final journal paper, an oral presentation, and some flight demonstrations. The main objective of this competition is target acquisition. So as you the UAV is scouting the area, it needs to identify points of interest, for an example such as that. It needs to take an image of that point of interest and then send back information to the judges with a matrix of detail of that point of interest. So if, for example, if this was laid out in the area we were searching, the UAV would have to take an image of it and send back a matrix with details such as color, shape, and a number on it. Uh, but the global learning components of our project mainly encompasses countries related to the field. Currently, the United States and Israel are the countries most relevant to autonomous air vehicles. Um, uh, countries such as Pakistan, Russia, and China have been long in the process of creating their own UAV, but uh, have been unsuccessful due to a lack of infrastructure and technology. Whether there would be a market for our product in other countries, we believe there would definitely be. Like I said, many countries have been long in the process of creating their own UAV technology, and our research and development could help them in this process. One thing we need to keep aware of, though, is that the use of UAVs is very strongly linked with uh, military usage, so we need to be aware of the risks having our research and development and our product being used for military purposes. So some global considerations for our project include cultural differences between different countries, such as languages, the language of the manuals, and uh, local colloquialisms for different um, groups. Local resources, such as voltage rating for electrical systems, 110 versus uh, 220, and fuels for engines. Uh, system of units, metric versus standard, and foreign laws, which pertain to radio frequencies, the availability of the operation of the UAV, and private and commercial use of UAVs. So for our project, we have several um, options when it comes to computing devices, whether it be embedded, um, a Windows platform, embedded Linux, or using a microcontroller system. Also, we have onboard versus outboard processing. Sensors. We, uh, we anticipate to use um, a barometric sensor for altitude measurement, an ultrasonic uh, sensor for increased takeoff and landing accuracy, a GPS system, of course, for autonomous waypoint navigation, and an accelerometer for the uh, six-axis roll pitch and yaw. Uh, hardware, the autopilot flight, control, um, flight controller to control um, flight mechanics. A camera for image recognition. Miscellaneous servos for rotor movement and wing flap um, act, uh, actuation. Radio equipment, because we need an, uh, an actual pilot with a remote control just in case the autonomous uh, features uh, disengage and a laptop to receive the, the data that the judges will be scoring this on. So for the competition, we need to choose a platform that's going to optimize the performance based on the competition objectives. We believe that choosing a helicopter will be that optimal platform for various reasons. Takeoff and landing capabilities, its maneuverability, the ability to hover over certain areas, its complex mechanical design, and its stable design. This is our project timeline. Um, notice that we go over 2014 because our competition is actually in May. This is our proposed budget. This is what we're aiming for, roughly at $1,700, give or take any, um, any issues with uh, testing. We also have a contingency budget. Just in case we can't reach that $1,700 budget, we can scale down to the $800 budget. And then we've been uh, very active with funding. Right now we currently have $600 in team funding. And today we were just awarded by the Senate Finance Committee $900. And 
that is our presentation. Any of you fly or pilots you guys do any this as a hobby or? Uh, I mean, I did. I did it as a hobby when I was younger, um, with little helicopters and stuff, but not really seriously. Yeah. We actually got in contact with the team that the, that's been doing this previously, and they got us in contact with the local RC club, which trained them in the operations of the RC helicopters and airplanes. Because it can take time to get used to your mm -hmm. controls. And then, uh, then when it goes autonomous, it doesn't stay. But in the meantime, you gotta have to learn about it. You, you said that uh, you would scale it down to eight hundred dollars from seventeen hundred dollars. What are you going to be cutting to do that? Uh, materials. <laughs> we want to use carbon fiber for the body and for the rotors. If we're going to scale down, we're going to use plastics for the rotors, and we're also going to change the, uh, the motor. Motor right now, the proposed budget is in, uh, it's gasoline, fuel. Uh, the other one is engine. I mean, uh, electrical. And also we need a battery. You, yeah, we need batteries. Yeah, we need weight. Yeah, the the battery we we can we have access to lithium ion batteries, which are very light in comparison to nickel cadmium and other sources of batteries. Also, um, we can actually cut down costs on the actual computing platform. We initially wanted to use um, what's called a panda board or a beagle board, which is approximately $180. We might be able to scale it back to a beagle bone, which is $80. So that's a saving of 100 right there. And move um, the computational power of actually having onboard um, data processing to offboard. So <coughs> we would take off the computer and then just use a laptop to do the image recognition. So are you going to be designing the helicopter from, from ground zero? So you're going to, you're going to uh, so you've got three months to, to completely develop, manufacture the helicopters uh, and all of the control systems and all of the unmanned systems. When you say three months, you mean the fall semester? When you say three months, you mean the fall semester? I'm just looking Look at, at your, your timeline. Time oh, the timeline. Well, we're going to use the, uh, the summer get ahead. Okay, because you originally, according to this, we'll have it done by the end of July uh, to be ready to be testing in August. Yeah, we want to have it ready by fall. We want to really work for the summer. Um, we all have internships, we all have stuff to do, but we want to get together and try to work together to have it built, something built, so we can start testing it by the fall. We can use the whole fall semester to do, you know, there's going to be a lot of bugs, going to be a lot of things that are not going to work. For sure. We want to have something maybe built by the start of the fall. Any other questions? Have you tried to get all the American Airlines to uh, sponsor you on this? We talked to NASA. Um, okay. They sponsored for this composition, the AUDSI. Okay. And uh, we're going to talk to our advisor who has contacts with them to sponsor us for it as well. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, you want to, you know, they're, they're based out of Miami. You know. so. Um, but think, think, because it is kind of military, you know, Lockheed Martin and all, of them, all these companies that are vendors from the military, and they have funding for that. So, so contact them too, you know. Because um, I, I think funding is probably the, one of the most challenging projects, tasks in a project is sending the word out and then receiving the money. So don't delay on that. Get as much as you can as soon as possible. As a segue to that, what about the competition costs? Who's funding that? Okay. You talked about four, uh, almost four grand there. Yeah, so the competition is next year in, in May. So we would have, after we graduate, a couple of months to maybe get, get funding for that. Competition costs is six hundred dollars for the entrance fee, and plus we would have to also travel and lodging and all. Yeah, I see it. Four grand. Yeah, but we would. Uh, We'd probably have to fund that ourselves to enter the competition. Well, that's going to be a challenge. Yeah. Well, how do you know you're going to have a job to fund it? All right. Thank you.